Several Colorado school districts are struggling to hire enough bus drivers, and now one district is having to change some of the bus stop locations. Michael Abeta talked with the Thompson School District about how that shortage will impact the first day of school. Now, when most of us say we used to have to walk to school uphill both ways in a snowstorm, it's usually an exaggeration. But for some birthed kids who live in rural Larimer County, it was almost a reality. Ryan Lemming and his family depend on the school bus to get the kids to birth at elementary. When he found out his kid's bus stop moved, he became worried. It moved it a mile and a half down the, down the road, which doesn't sound like much, but you're talking a mile and a half at, at least a thousand foot elevation change. Not to mention the fact that there's no sidewalk along the road and lots of blind corners, which makes it a dangerous place to walk on a nice day and even more treacherous during a storm. There's no way I could ever let them walk on, on this road. Thompson School District said that the reason they moved the bus stop was not to make parents' lives harder. It was because they're having a hard time hiring bus drivers. It's very difficult for us to compete with um, municipalities and in the private sector in terms of the salary that we can offer. So they hired an outside company to do an audit of their system in an effort to become more efficient. That way they can continue to provide the service to parents despite their lack of drivers. It's not our intention to put people in a difficult spot. We really want to do everything we can to help them out. They say they're ready to work with parents if they have a concern about the changes, just like they did with Ryan. They've since moved his bus stop to a safer location. Ryan says he understands the difficulties of having to do more with less, and he thinks something needs to change so that the district can have enough drivers to safely pick up and drop off their kids. They need to make some changes to budget or something, too, get more comparative, uh, comparable wages for these bus drivers and uh, keep them employed and keep them happy. Michael Avetha covering Colorado First. So for parents who are facing changes in school bus pickups, check out way to goes school pool program. It sets up network, networks within schools so that kids can carpool to and from school together. We've got details in the smart commute section of CBSDenver.com.